I'm sitting here with Danik at World Club Dome Winter Edition. We're gonna do a short interview. Are you ready? I'm super ready. Let's do it. Uh, Mac. Instagram or Facebook? Instagram. Uh, Spotify or Apple Music? Spotify. Beer or vodka? Vodka. <laughs> Coffee or Red Bull? Coffee. Would you rather play in festivals or clubs? Ah, oh, that's a tough question. It different. I, for me, personal clubs because it's more intimate and I can do, I can more tell a story. And festivals more about like giving the most energy you have in one hour usually. And a club you can really tell a story and, and play longer usually so that's why I like it. Would you have rather be touring or producing? Touring. Get to see the world as well? Yeah of course but also like yeah I get so much energy from DJing and that's how I started as well so and in the end producing is just like being a nerd and, and locking yourself up in a room and, and of course making music is amazing but like nothing beats touring because every day is different. Would you have rather have a smaller fan base with more interaction or a bigger fan base but less interaction? Yeah, definitely first option. So smaller fan base with uh, people that, that know me and uh, appreciate me from what I do and then have a bigger audience with all kinds of people that you really can please also. Yeah. How did you prepare for your World Club Dome set? I never really prepare. I always, I'm always constantly working on music and making new mashups and edits. So it's an ongoing process and because I, I don't like to plan my sets because every set is different. Uh, sometimes people before me play like uh, mashups that I, uh, that I was just making in my hotel room. So I have to switch it up. Um, and it's all about like reading the crowd and, and being able to, uh, to time your tracks right. So. I know what I'm going to play at the start and I know what I'm going to close off with and the rest is all... Improvising. Improvising, yeah, yeah. I think that's what, what DJing is about. For me, at least. So you were the first DJ who ever assigned like, um, a collaboration with a, a suit brand. Yeah. Are you looking forward to like, any other like, clothing collaborations? I mean, I'm not a, a clothing designer or whatever, but I know what I like to wear myself. and. Um, I'm always open to, to, to crazy ideas because I love being creative um, but I do need people that ha actually know how to design clothing and this was just like an opportunity that came to me and I love the idea because what are you wearing if you have a red carpet event I don't I like suits but it's all, also s super stiff and everything so I, I was like okay let's come up with an idea where people actually like me or DJs or people that work in the music industry feel more comfortable with you can wear with sneakers and everything. So that's how it came about. But I'm, I'm always open to those like out of the box ideas. I love that. Do you have any interesting ideas coming up? Yes, I'm, I'm working on so much new music, all solo stuff right now. Uh, and 2020 is going to be an interesting year because I'm going to try out some new sounds, explore uh, a bit. Um, of course, it's still Denik, but it's it was time to, to, to rebrand a little bit and up, update my sound. Uh, although I'm very happy with uh, the latest tracks that I put out but I think in general like the whole music market is changing so rapidly so and also my own taste is, is, is switching a little bit so I have to switch it up and, uh, and come up with uh, something new something else yeah, everything I've become, let go of 